Are you are you in on anything with Miami Buffalo though? The the, the marquee game of the week here. Like, like well, any anything anything going? I guess Buffalo kind of righted the shot. I thought I thought Washington could could hang with them and keep that within the number last week. That was clearly the dead wrong side in the game, and, and Buffalo looked a lot more like the team that we thought. But but Miami is giving them problem. I mean, the playoff game last year, they had no business being in that game, and they were. It won a, a low scoring game at, in, in South Florida. Like, seems like everyone is just on Buffalo in this game because it's south of a field goal. It's two and a half. Feels like Buffalo is kind of like a very popular side this week, Sam. You got any thoughts on on that on that one? Well, given the number, I'd lay two and a half before I'd take two and a half for sure. I mean, the protection under the field goal that you get with a home favorite, and it's crazy that. I mean, you say everybody's on Buffalo. I, I, I tend to disagree here, Bear. I mean, we look at a game that opened really? three and okay. a half in Vegas. Superbook opened three and a half, and it got blown through because there's a lot of Miami love now. And, you know, I, I'm very happy to to hold that Mike McDaniel Coach of the Year ticket at 20 to 1. And, you know, two weeks ago, we were having yep. the Coach of the Year conversation, and Dan Campbell, Paul Bunyan, had better odds than Mike McDaniel, <laughs> which – is impossible. I will play to football. Kind of we will run the ball nom, in the middle yeah, of the line. Nom, 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 nom. Football. Yeah, whatever. I, I traded, I traded DeAndre game. Swift. I traded DeAndre <laughs> Swift and we drafted Jameer Gibbs. And now we're going to, we're going to not use Gibbs at all. And we're going to let Jalen Carter, the defensive rookie of the year slide. And we're going to take Gibbs and we're not going to use him. Don't get me started. So you're not on the line. We're going to take a running back in the I first actually, round. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a running back and in not, the first and, and round. And not, and, not, and not use him and not use him properly, which is the amazing thing. It, it's, you said something, though, about the McDaniel ticket, and, and it's kind of like my, a macro point about this game for me. Like, Will, are there any markets out there? Like, this seems like it's like a fulcrum-type week. Like, if you like Tua for MVP or Tyreek Hill for Offensive Player of the Year, like, don't you kind of have to make the bet this week? Because if they go to if they go to Buffalo and win, you're like those numbers are going to take a tick down. However, if you like someone else, if, if you want to bet McCaffrey or whomever is offensive player of the year or some or someone else's MVP, like this is also the week to do it. So you kind of kind of anticipate what you think is going to happen in this game. I think dictates a lot of your future plays that you may or may not make this week, right? Well, if you're betting McDaniel four to one to coach of the year, you're late to the party, but that doesn't mean it's a bad ticket. I mean, I, I think, I, I think that number should be lower. I, I feel like he's the star of the team. Everyone's talking about his offense, his spacing, all the motions he's using. Uh, I think that four to one is still a good number. Again, uh, you don't want to just uh, bet numbers that you could have gotten at much higher odds, but sometimes, Hey, you got to play the ball where it lies. And to me, four to one, I think you're going to look up in six weeks or two months and be very happy to have four to one. I think he should be, you know, it, it's too early to say, hey, he should be even money or, or you know, plus 150, anything like that. But I think he is rightfully favored, and I think that number is only going to uh, get lower. So I, I think McDaniel's in very good shape here to win that award. He's he, he's really been the star of the team. It, that offense is just – it's so innovative. They're so fast. It almost like it, – it's like a basketball team running a three-on-two fast break. It looks like they have more guys on the field than the other team, and, and that was without Waddle last week. That was without Armstead. So to me, McDaniel, a four-to-one, you're late to the party, but better late than never. Let me also add this. You like quickly. the Dolphins. Just think about if Buffalo plays well in this game. I mean, let's play devil's advocate for a second. After the, the Jet game, Josh Allen was, you know, horrible and four turnovers and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. He's anywhere from seven to nine to one to win the MVP. What if Buffalo comes out and beats Miami by 10 points? Then we see the nine to one go to seven to one, and the seven to one goes to like 650 or 625. So I, look, I mean, this is a coin flip game. That's what the house says. I don't think a Josh Allen MVP bet is the worst thing in the world, considering he was seven to one before the season. Now you can bet some nine to one. And then also, Jeff, on the total, this thing opened 49, 49 and a half. Now it's at 54. How do you go over 54? That's like the ceiling of the number. I, I get it. It could go over 54, but I'm not in any rush to go over 54 when I could have gone over 50 and a half, 51, 51 and a half. Well, did you, did you see that the Dolphins scored 70 points? I did week? see that last yeah. week, yeah. Uh, the most offensive touchdowns ever in a single game uh, in NFL history. I mean, look, kind of I think wisdom would tell you that they're not going to score as much this weekend, right? Um, and Buffalo, who's done a great job scoring as well, just when you have these two offensive teams for the most part, right? Like historically, the numbers, as Sammy mentioned, get so high, you just contrarian bet the under, right? Like it's just, you kind of have to, when as Sammy mentioned, the, the line moves, what, five points, Sammy? Uh, I would lean toward the under here just for that reason. Like I think everyone's on the over, everyone 
everyone expects a bunch of points. Um, and I would think this game could fall somewhere, you know, in the, in the upper twenties for both teams. And the thing too, Buffalo, they're pl- they're plus one sixty five right now uh, is the best number I found to win the division. So clearly if you want to get a Buffalo division bet in, this is probably the, the time to do it as well. Well, real quickly, you like Miami in this game though, right? Yeah, I like Miami. There's threes out there. I would just take the three. I think, look, they'll be able to move the ball. They get a break where they get to go to Buffalo, and it's not bad weather. It's not November, December, where it's 30 degrees and windy. It's going to be 70. Good, n- Nice weather. I think you can attack that Buffalo secondary. Uh, and look, bu- Buffalo has the only loss among these teams, and that loss has not aged well when you look at, hey, this team lost to Zach Wilson uh, a few weeks ago. That, that looks even worse <laughs> than it did at the time, and it looked really bad at the time. So Toss up game. I'll take the three. There are threes out there. If you like Buffalo, find a two and a half. And I could see a scenario where somebody's up seven late in the fourth quarter and a team that's losing scores a touchdown and goes for two and says, Hey, I'd rather win it with my offense than worry about overtime or try to win it with my defense. And then, you know, it could land on one, or if there's enough time for a field goal at the other end, it could land on two. So I think the three is valuable. I, I would say if you like Buffalo, take the money line. If you like Miami plus the three, but uh, I do like Miami plus the points. What, what, what about, what a time, what about a team maybe being up seven late? Inside of three minutes, and then kicking a field goal, yeah, and down there on front fourth and shirt in the red zone. You think that think that might happen in this game? That would never happen. That <laughs> would happen. <sighs> that my, my my head was just exploding Sunday night. Just how how do these coaches have just no clue? They have no clue. How how I was on Pittsburgh. I was fine with it. <laughs> I like Pittsburgh too, but how does? How I does thought maybe it was a fifth quarter I was unaware of or something. Yeah, that was a strange one. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.